Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox coming to you from Al Red Sox fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some APA baseball. Card and dice makes everything nice. 1978 Mets versus the Phillies. National League East Region Double Day Cup Game 1 of 5. This is our first matchup in the 1978 Double Day Cup. Mets. Phillies first pitch up next on the channel. I'd like to say hello to Sports Flicks, aka Mr. Wrestling 2. Please check out and subscribe to that channel. And also a wonderful hello to Brian Hoxie, to both Sports Flicks and Brian Hoxie, and everyone else who is watching now or later. Feel free to jump in the chat. We like to have fun. Okay. We might not show all the games in our double day tournament, but I think we're going to show all these Mets and Phillies games. I think because what's interesting about this Mets team, which I know a little bit about because I watched a lot of them as a kid, they were on game of the week quite a bit. As I remember, they have three decent pitchers. Now Craig Swan will start the first game against Steve Carlton, but they have Swan, Zachary and Kuzman. Not bad. Their bullpen's not bueno. The Phillies, this is a very interesting series. The Phillies only have two good pitchers via APA ratings. Carlton and, uh, oh, Christensen. But their bullpen is very good. So, oh, we got them on the wrong side. Here we go. Let's give you the lineups and roll some APA baseball. We'll try not to keep you too long, but you know how streams go. Doug Hunt, how you doing? For the Mets, as I said, Craig Swan will start things off. Oh, I forgot to count the um, – we'll do that in a second, get the defense ratings. I do believe um, the Phillies will be off the fielding one column, and I think the Mets will be fielding two, but we're going to count it up real quick. Craig Swan, starting pitcher, A grade, YZ modifier. Lee Mazzilli will lead things off in center. He's a fast runner. Batting second at third base, Lenny Randall. He's another fast runner. Batting third, doing the catching, John Stearns. Always love John Stearns and Lee Mazzilli. John Stearns got injured, I want to say his third year with the Mets. 76, 77, 78. Early 80s he got injured, I think. So it was more than that. The cleanup hitter, first baseman, Willie Montanez. The DH, Steve Henderson, the worst 300 hit hitter I've ever watched. In my games, I mean. Never comes up with a big hit for me. Batting sixth in left field, Elliot Maddox. He's a fast runner. Bruce Beauclair is in right. Batting seventh, he's a fast runner. Tim Foley. Bats eighth, he'll play short. Doug Flynn bats ninth, plays second base. Cutter Historicals here. Please check out and subscribe to that channel. Greg Bourne, how you doing? He says, hey, it's your cousin from Boston. From Boston. For the Philly, Steve Carlton's on the mound. He is a B-grade YZ pitcher. Shake Bake McBride will lead things off playing right field. He's a fast runner. Again, we're playing Appa Basic. Larry Boa bats second at short. Fast runner. Michael Jack Schmidt bats third, plays third. He's a fast runner. The Bull, Greg Lazinski, cleanup hitter, DH. Gary Maddox in center field, bats fifth. He's a fast runner. Jerry Martin, they call him Mud, is in left field batting sixth. Bob Boone bats seventh, plays first base. He's a slow runner. Tim McCarver. Steve Carlton's personal caddy does the catching, batting eighth, batting ninth. Ted Sizemore playing second. So there you have that. 
Let's put these cards here. All right, let's play some baseball. Appa style. Lee Mazzilli to lead things off. Oh, we got to get the defense. Okay, for the Mets, we count up the defensive numbers. That's uh, 6, 13, excuse me, 17, 19, 21, 29, 37, 39. So the Mets are 39, and they'll be in fielding column two. So the Mets are 39. Okay. The Phillies. We have a 12, 17, 20, 22, 24, 30, 38, 39. Did I do that right? So they're in fielding column two also. Let's do this again. I missed I miss Schmidt. I miss I missed uh Schmidt at third. Okay, so that's a 10, and we can see that's another. So it's 10, 15, 17, 20, 24, 30, 38. No, it's 39. I did that right. I did that correctly. I thought they were a little higher than that. I'm still not convinced with my math. That's 17, 20, 22, 24, 30, 38. Nope, 39. I thought there were 41 out. Uh, oh, that's if I did the other lineup. That's what that was. So there are 39. They're fielding column two also. So the Phillies are also fielding column two. All right. That done. Let's get it on. Lee Mazzilli, switch hitter. He'll bat righty against the left-handed hurling Carlton. McCarver sets the target. The pitch to Lee Mazzilli it is a 35 off the Mazzilli card. Base is empty. So a 35 to Lee Mazzilli is a 14, and that's going to be a walk. Unless he's a double ZZ pitcher, he's not. He's only a Z pitcher, so Mazzilli is on with a walk. Mazzilli at first. No outs. That brings up Lenny Randall. Do we want to bunt with Randall? We're going to let Randall swing the stick. And we have to change this to runner at first. The pitch to Randall from Steve Carlton. Double ones for Lenny Randall. I'm so glad we let him swing the stick. That's going to be a zero. Reroll on the D column. Let's see if Lenny Randall can get doubles again. It's a 53. 53 is a six. That's going to be a double to right field. Fast runner scores with under two outs. Lee Mazzilli is a fast runner. The Mets take a one nothing lead to the shock and chagrin of Phillies fans. So a walk and then the double by Randall. And it is one nothing. Mets. Randall at second, no outs. For the catcher, John Stearns. Stearns, a right-handed batter. Carlton peeks over his shoulders, now deals to Stearns. Stearns with doubles. The Mets have come out swinging. Stern with a 44. It's an eight. Runner at second, though. Let's see if the B Voodoo takes that away. Runner at second. B grade, yep. Line shot right at Carlton. He knocks it down. The ball rolls away from him. His only play is to first. So Carlton saves a line drive single to center. Advancing to third is Randall. Stearns is out one to three. Great reaction by lefty Steve Carlton. Thought he might have a double play. If he snared it in the air, he might have. But the ball rolled away from him to his right. 
with one out. Randall at third. Montanez at the plate. one nothing Mets. Lefty-lefty matchup. Carlton nods his head. Pitch homeward bound to Willie Montanez. Doubles for Montanez. It's a 22. That's a seven. Runner at third. I don't think the B voodoo robs a seven. Line drive past the dive of the shortstop Boa into left field. Two nothing Mets. So Willie Montanez, they're getting to lefty quite quick. Let's make sure nothing else happens. That's it. So it's 2 nothing now, Mets. Carlton getting roughed up here. He'll now face the DH, Steve Henderson. What a start for the Mets in the Double Day Cup. Game 1 of 5. Here's the pitch of Steve Henderson. Runner at first. That is a 13. And we have a runner at first. Quickly switch the charts. 13 is a 14. That will be a walk. Let's double check that. No, it's going to be ball one because he's a Z pitcher. Henderson steps back in the box. 2 nothing Mets. One out, one on. Carlton to Henderson again. It's a 54 to Steve Henderson. 54 is a 32. A 32 fly ball to right field. McBride will make the catch. Retreating to first is Montanez. So there are two down now. Montanez will be off on contact. He's a normal runner. 2 nothing Mets if you're just joining us. Here's Elliot Maddox. Maddox digs into the right-hander's batter's box. Maddox playing left field in game one. Carlton to Maddox. It's a 62. 62. Elliot Maddox is a 27. A 27 will end the inning. Uh, X pitcher gets a strikeout. He's not an X pitcher. It's going to be a chopper down to third. Schmidt charges, throws to second for the force out. Interesting play there by Michael Jack Schmidt. And the side is retired. Schmidt bobbled a bit, and I think he saw Montanez sort of lollygagging when Maddox was running hard down the line, throws to second, side is retired. But the Mets plate two. We go to the bottom of the first, two nothing Mets. And that will give Craig Swan a nice little boost here. So here's Craig Swan. Remember, he is an A-grade pitcher. Joining us at the ballpark, Mark Jones, Sports Flicks, Greg Bourne, Cutter Historical, Doug Hunt, Brian Hoxie. Good to see one and all. So Shake Bake McBride to lead things off for the Phillies. They're down 2 nothing. Mets feel good about their chances in the Double Day Cup. Swanee done with his warm-up tosses. He's a right-handed hurler. The pitch to the left-hand batting, Shake Bake McBride. McBride with a 12. A 12 is a 25. Base is empty. That's going to be an out on the fielding column two. That's a chopper to second. X pitcher gets a strikeout. He's not an X pitcher. So out number one, four to three, making the play is Doug Flynn. He throws to Montanez, one down. So Swan wants to get them one, two, three. Sportsflix had bought the original 73 Appa set today on eBay. Oldest original I own. Can't wait. Oh, I, I've i picked up so many good sets. I have the 73 set too. I don't know if it's a reprint or original, but I got it on eBay. I'm looking at two other sets on eBay right now. Doing a little negotiating, see if I can get two for one from the same buyer. 
One out, Larry Boa, switch hitter batting lefty against the right-handed hurling Swan. Stern sets the target. The pitch to the Philly shortstop. Boa, Boa rolls. Snake eyes. It's a re-roll on the D column. And it's a 62 off the Boa card. 62 is a 6. It's going to be a double. So Larry Boa doubles to left center field. A one-out double for Boa. And he is a fast runner. Let's just double check to make sure nothing else happens. No, it's just a double. Pops Review has joined us. Please check out and subscribe to that wonderful channel. He has a uh, roller derby game it's up, correct? I watched, I listened, I actually listened to some of that. So with one out, one on, two nothing Mets, Michael Jack Schmidt, the man they call Schmitty, steps to the plate. He can tie it with one booming swing. And we have to switch this to a runner at for, uh, second. Runner at second. Doug Hunt is doing 1984 APA. Cool. Uh, awesome. 84 is the year of the Tigers. Here's the pitch to Schmidt trying to tie it with one out and a runner at second. That is a 12, a 12 is a 25, a 25 line shot. Leaping catch by Doug Flynn. Quickly diving back to second is Boa as Flynn tossed it to Foley, but Boa gets back safely. Great catch by Doug Flynn. Two down. So two outs. The speedy Boa will be off on contact. The cleanup hitter, the designated hitter, the bull, Greg Lazinski, steps in to the right-hander's batter's box. Stearns wiggles the fingers. Swan is ready. The pitch to Lazinski. Lazinski rolls a 12. A 12 is a 25, and that is another scorching line shot. Rinse and repeat. Doug Flynn leaps up, snares it. Doug Flynn robs two hits off the bats. Of the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies fans not happy with that. We're through one here at Veterans Stadium. 2 nothing Mets. Doug Flynn flashing the leather. Craig Swan gives him a big high five. Due up in the top of the second. Beauclair, Foley, and Flynn. Let's see if Flynn can do it with the bat as well as he did it with the glove. Pops Review says, All the APA talk, I will have to invest in football later this year. I do enjoy the football game. It's long, but I do enjoy it. Frank Wayne Scott, how you doing? Uh, Frank says, Al, my nephew is at Penn State Friday and Saturday to qualify for the Olympic wrestling team. Uh Gary Trubb, heavyweight. Well, good luck to him, and we send our prayers and good thoughts out to him, and we hope he makes the Olympic team. That would be awesome, Frank. Mark Jones, 84. Both Nettles and Garvey played for the Padres. You are correct. And went to the World Series one last time as they lost to the Tigers. Uh, Doug Hunt, yep. They were good. They just beat the Orioles. 4 nothing shutout by Jack Morris. So Doug Hunt played a Tigers game. Cutter Historical, I'm in the minority, I know, but I have not a lot of patience for APA games. I prefer PC version. That's cool. Play the games you love. We always say that. Uncle Dave Gardner's joined us. He's playing some APA football right now. Who, who do you have on the board, on the table, Uncle Dave? All right, so the Mets, 2 nothing. Carlton back up on the mound to face the bottom third of the Metropolitan Order. The pitch to Bruce Bo Beauclair. Lefty, lefty matchup. Beauclair with a 65. A 65 is a 33. Base is empty. I do know that is an out on a 33 fielding column. Two popped up. A wide pitcher gets a strikeout. So it's going to be popped up foul. And then Carlton strikes out Beauclair, overpowering. The Mets left-hand batting right fielder. So Steve Carlton picks up his first K, one down, top of the second. 
That brings up Timothy John, Crazy Horse Foley. The pitch to the right-hand batting Foley from lefty Steve Carlton. 42, how do you do? A 42 is a 30, base is empty. Well, that's out number two. We know these numbers. We start to remember this. Fly ball to left center. Making the catch is the left fielder, Jerry Mud Martin. So two down. Carlton rebounding nicely after giving up two runs in inning number one. He's not out of it yet. He has to make, uh, face the man who was electrifying at second base, robbing two hits from Schmidt and Lazinski on leaping line drive catches. The pitch to Doug Flynn from Steve Carlton. Carlton and the Phillies looking for a 1-2-3 inning. That's a 16, a 16 a 28. They will get their 1-2-3 inning. Chopper to short. Boa has it. Throws to Boone at first. Side retired. The Mets go 1-2-3 quietly in the top of the second. We go to the bottom of the second. Mets 2, Phillies nothing. Due up for Philadelphia, Maddox, Martin, and Boone to face Craig Swan. Game one, best of five, the Abner Double Day Tournament, or Cup. Swan to Gary Lee Maddox, righty-righty matchup. 25 to Maddox, base is empty. A 25 is a 10. That's an interesting roll. A 10 on an A grade chopper up the middle past the dive of the shortstop Foley into center field. It's a leadoff single for Maddox. Just make sure there's no steal there. So the speedy Maddox is on with no outs. That will bring up the left fielder, Jerry Mud Martin. Runner at first. Mets hope to turn two. The pitch to Martin from Craig Swan. It's doubles. 22. How do you do? A 22 is a seven. And the A voodoo takes it away. Runner at first. Soft grounder to third, charging it is Randall. His only play is the first one out. Oh, so M Mud Martin lines one foul down the third base line and then chops it foul. Nice play by Lenny Randall. So Maddox advances to second. Martin is out 5 3 thanks to the A voodoo. One out, one on, bottom of the second, two nothing Mets. The pitch to Bob Boone. Boone playing first in game one. That is a six, a 46 to Bobby Boone. 46, a 13. That is a strikeout. Let's double. We got a runner at second, though. Let's make sure. Let's double check. Runner at second. And that's a 13. Swing and a miss. That is a strikeout. So Craig Swan records his first K. Two outs. Maddox, a fast runner, should score easily on a hit with two outs. But they have to get the hit. Stepping to the plate, the personal caddy and catcher of Steve Carlton, Tim McCarver. McCarver looking for a clutch two-out hit. Digs in the left-hander's batter's box. Swan has the sign. Stern sets the target. The pitch to his counterpart, Tim McCarver. That is a 46 to Tim McCarver. 46 is a 38. A 38 is... An error on the shortstop. Tim Foley took his eyes off the ball. The ball rolls to his left. He picks it up, kicks the dirt. Does the runner advance? I think the runner does advance there. First and third on the E6. So Maddox to third. McCarver on first. Swan and the Mets should be back in the dugout. Tying runs are on. Go-ahead run comes to the plate. Second baseman, Ted Sizemore. 
Two outs, two on. Swan in a pickle. He takes a deep breath. The pitch to Sizemore from the right-hander's batter's box. Sizemore with a 52. A 52 is a 27. We have first and third. So first and third, 27. Infield playing normal, 27. A wide pitcher gets a strikeout. Swan is a wide pitcher. Swing and a miss. Side is retired. Swan strikes out two, and the Phillies leave him on the corners. We are through two. We go to the top of the third. 2-0 Mets, 1978 Double Day Cup. National League East region, game one, best of five. Due up for the Mets in the top of the third, Mazzilli, Randall, and Stearns. Frank Wayne Scott says, Al, is anybody playing any APA baseball with more recent seasons? It seems a ton of 70s and 80s. I don't know. I'm sure someone's playing APA more recent seasons. I, I enjoy, you know, I play what I enjoy. I really don't enjoy. I don't have any recent seasons for APA because I buy the seasons off eBay. I do have the recent season in Strat, which I did not want to buy. They were supposed to send me basketball. But then once I got it, I was like, ah, I probably would have got it anyway. So I then reordered basketball. And they were actually very nice to me because they got more money. But that's cool. Oh, Doug Hunt. That's right. IDJ likes to play more recent seasons. You are correct. All right. So Mazzilli will face Carlton. He walked and scored on the Randall double in the first. The pitch to Lee Mazzilli. Switch hitter batting righty. 55 by Mazzilli. A 55 is an 8, but he's a B grade. Base is empty. I do believe the B grade is going to take away the hit. Uh, yep. Hit. Well... To center, racing back, making the catch, robbing Mazzilli of extra bases is Maddox. So Mazzilli laced it. Again, a 55 is an 8. Carlton is a B grade. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Base is empty. You can see. That's why I love the, the radio boards, they call them, because you know it's an out. And it's a center. So... The B-grade pitcher takes that away. So does the A. So Mazzilli disappointed with that. He's 0 for 1 now. Nice running catch by Maddox in center. One out top of the third for Lenny Randall. Randall doubled in Mazzilli in the first. Another switch hitter batting righty. McCarver sets the target to pitch to Lenny Randall. It is a 13 to Lenny Randall. A 13 is a walk, and that's a 14, so we know that's a walk. Randall reaches base for a second time. You know, let's make sure. Does he do any type of stealing? If he is he a ZZ pitcher? No, he's only a Z pitcher. So one out, one on. John Stearns, the catcher, grounded to the pitcher. He's 0 for 1. Carlton to Stearns. Will it be a double play ball? We shall see. That's a 36 runner at first. 36 off the Stearns card is a 12. That's an interesting roll. A 12. That's a double play ball around the horn. A hard one hopper to Schmidt. He snares it back and pivots, throws to Sizemore on to Boone at first. Five, four, three, double play. Carlton's not a, if he was a W, it would have been a base on balls, but he is not. Top of the third is done. Stearns bangs into the Schmidt, Sizemore, Boone, 5-4-3 double play. We travel to the bottom of the third, still 2-0 Mets. Mets have hit the ball hard. But no runs to show since the top of the first. Swan back out 
on the bump for the Metropolitans. He will face the top of the Phillies order. Phillies down two. It's McBride, Boa, and Schmidt. McBride grounded to second. Digs in the left-hander's batter's box. The pitch to the Phillies right fielder from Craig Swan. That is a 62. A 62 is a 32. Base is empty. I do believe that will be an out on fielding column two. And it is a fly ball towards the right center field gap. On the move is the speedy Bruce Beauclair. Fine running catch by Beauclair. One down for the Phillies in the bottom of the third. Shortstop Larry Boa steps to the plate. He doubled his first time up. Switch hitter in the left-hander's batter's box. Stearns sets a target. The pitch to Boa from Craig Swan. That is a 64. A 64 is a 13. Swing and a miss. Swan has now struck out three. Swan is dealing. Two outs base is empty for Michael Jack Schmidt. Schmidt lined towards second. Flynn leaped and robbed him as he did with the on-deck batter, Greg Lazinski, to end the first. The pitch to Michael Jack Schmidt from Craig Swan. Mets looking for a 1-2-3 inning. That's a 51. That's a 9. And that's going to be swing and a miss. The A voodoo gets him. Swan has now struck out four. And again, you see the base is empty. And you see the nine comes out. Strikes him out with a nasty breaking pitch. We're through three here in Philadelphia. Two nothing Mets. Phillies fans getting a bit anxious here. They, they, they easily thought that their team would advance in the out of round one of the National League East Double Day Cup. They're in the National League East region. Frank Wainscott says, Al, I have the 1990s decade cards from Replay Baseball. I have a 18 team league, a 54 game scheduled project. I will. Start it around Memorial Day. Very cool. Very cool. So here's Carlton, top of four. For the Mets, Montanez, Henderson, and Maddox. Willie Montanez singled in a run in the first. Here's the pitch to Willie from Steve Carlton. Lefty, lefty matchup. That is a 45 to Montanez. A 45 base is empty is an 8. I know the B voodoo takes that away. Line shot to center field. Going back, reaching up, making the catch is Maddox for the Phillies. One down. Montanez could have easily been two for two. So Montanez is retired. DH, Steve Henderson steps to the plate. He is 0 for 1. He flew out to right. Carlton rocks and deals to Henderson. That's a 35. 35 bases, empty 14. That is a, mm, let's make sure it's a walk. It is because he's not a double ZZ pitcher. So Carlton has walked 1, 2. He's walked 3. He's been a bit wild. Henderson is a fast runner at first, one out. Elliot Maddox steps to the plate, left fielder for the Mets. One out, one on. Bob B., how you doing, my friend? Hope all is well. Carlton nods his head. McCarver sets the target. The pitch to Elliot Maddox, snake eyes to Elliot Maddox. It's a re-roll on the D column. Can they do some damage? That's a 62. A 62 is a 6. A double. A double. Fast runner scores under two outs, and we do know that Henderson is a fast runner. Three nothing Mets. Elliot Maddox doubles in Henderson. He had a great read on the ball, and the Mets are up by three. I'm telling you, if the Mets can take game one, they're in good shape. In this best of five. So it's 3 nothing Mets. One out. Runner at second.
Top of the fourth. Well, Maddox doubles. That will bring up the right fielder, Bruce Beauclair. Elliot Maddox is a fast runner. Bob B says, nice to see Richie Ashburn and Robin Roberts sitting behind the Phillies dugout. It is good to see them. Ashburn also played for the Mets. 1962. All right, so we have a runner at second. One out. Uh, trying to remember to flip those charts. The pitch to Bruce Beauclair broke Beauclair with a 26 runner at second. 26 is a 13. That is should be a strikeout. Fielding column two. Swing and a miss. He chased high and away. Second time. The lefty Steve Carlton has got the left hand batting. Bruce Bo Beauclair, uh, Beauclair. So two outs now. The speedy Maddox. At second, should score on a hit. Tim Foley, the shortstop, 0 for 1. He flew out to left. Carlton rocks and deals to Foley. It is a 35 to Tim. A 35 is a 39. And a 39. There goes Maddox. McCarver, quick toss down to Schmidt. He tags him out. The side is retired. So... Elliot Maddox thought he lured the Phillies to sleep. Instead, he is sleeping with the fishes. What a throw by Tim McCarver. Tag applied by Michael Jack Schmidt. Foley left at the plate standing with the bat in his hand. So he is out. Stealing. Two to five. The Mets get one. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Three nothing Metropolitans. Phillies bats need to come alive. The fans here in Philadelphia not liking what they see so far through three innings. Down three, the Phillies will send up Luzinski, Maddox, and Martin. The pitch to the bull, Greg Luzinski, righty-righty matchup with Craig Swan. Swan has struck out four. That is a 53, 15 bases empty. 15, fielding column two. Canned a corn out to left, waiting for it, making the catch is Elliot Maddox of the Mets. Lazinski missed one to grip and rip. One down. Doug Hunt, Mets showing up the Phillies at home. Here's Gary Maddox. I don't think he's related to Elliot Maddox, but I don't know. Swan's ready. He rocks and deals. The pitch to, Elliot, uh, to Greg Maddox. 51 to Greg Maddox. A 51 is an 8. That's an out. We already know the A voodoo takes that away. Jammed and popped up left side. Waiting for it. Third baseman Lenny Randall, two down. Swan is a dealing. Two outs, base is empty. Bottom of the fourth, three nothing Mets. Jerry Mud Martin steps to the plate. Mud grounded uh, to third. Trying to Keep the inning alive and get to Bob Boone. The pitch to Mud Martin from Craig Swan. That's a 35 to Mud Martin. 35 to 14. He battles Swan to a walk. He's not a double ZZ pitcher, only a Z. Will this walk come back to haunt Craig Swan and the Mets? Bob Boone steps to the plate. He is one of the four strikeout victims of Craig Swan. Swan looks in at Stearns. He nods his head. The pitch to Bob Boone. That's a 53. We're going to have to switch the chart in a second. 53 is an 18. That's an interesting, interesting thing there. An 18. Chopper to short. Foley muffs it. It goes 
off his glove into shallow left field. He chases it down, but by the time he gets there, sliding in safely to third base is the speedy Jerry Mud Martin. That is Foley's second error of the game. So first and third, two outs. A promising start for the Mets. Could be a horrific finish. Tim McCarver steps to the plate. McCarver was also gifted the on base by the error of Tim Foley. 3 nothing Mets. The pitch to Tim McCarver. McCarver with a 22! But it's an 8! And we know. Well, we got to find out first. We believe the Voodoo might take that away. We go to first and th uh, first and third. All right, let's look at the eight. Deep fly ball to right. It will not get the run in because there's two outs. Racing back, leaping, making the catches. Bruce Beauclair. So the voodoo takes a hit away. Unbelievable. Takes another hit away from the Phillies, and this time it's from the bat of Tim McCarver. What a great running, leaping catch in deep right. Beauclair bangs into the wall. That is out number three. The Phillies fail to score once again. We go to the top of the fifth. Three-nothing Mets. So as bad as Foley has played at short, Doug Flynn and Bruce Beauclair have picked him up. So has Craig Swan. Top of five. Do up for the Mets. Foley trying to make amends at the plate for his horrific fielding. Flynn in the top of the order. Lee Mazzilli. Maz. Bob B. has informed us. Howard Cosell wants to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game during the seventh inning stretch. Please make the necessary arrangements. I don't know. I don't know if I can do a <laughs> Howard Cosell imitation. Top of five. Three nothing Mets. Game one of five in the Abner Doubleday Cup. N National League East region. Carlton to Foley. Foley with a 35. 35. Foley swings a stick. That's a 39. Strike one. W pitcher based on balls. Well, he's not a W pitcher, so it's an 0-1 count. Carlton to Foley once again. 56 on the 0-1. 56, swing and a miss. So Carlton gets him down. 1-2-3. Foley is gone. He's 0 for 2. Carlton is now struck out 3. One out in the top of the fifth. Number 9 batter, Doug Flynn. 0 for 1, grounded to Boone, uh, to uh, Boad short. Flynn digs in the right-hander's batter's box. The lefty, Carlton. Rocks and deals to Doug Flynn. 41 to Doug Flynn. 41 is a 24. That's going to be an out. Hard hit ball to short. Backhanded by Boa. Strong throw to first. Two away. Second time, Flynn's grounded out to Boa. Boone points to Boa. Says, nice play. Top of the order. Two outs. Base is empty. Lee Mazzilli. He's 0 for 1. He's walked and scored and flown out to deep center. The pitch to Maz from Steve Carlton. It is a 13. A 13 is a 14. That is a walk. Second walk for the speedy Mazzilli. And Lenny Randall steps to the plate. Can Randall hit another gap shot and possibly score Mazzilli for a second time? Two outs. Mazzilli would be off and running. Carlton looks to first. Throws over. Mazzilli back. Carlton now looks in at the plate. Has the sign from Tim McCarver. The pitch to Lenny Randall. 31 to Lenny Randall. 31's a 14. That's another. Uh, let's make sure it's a walk. We have a runner at first. 14. Just missed Z. He's a Z, so it's not a walk. It is ball one. 1-0. Randall. 
is now dealt a 14. A 14 is a 30. That will end the inning on the 30. Sky to left. Coming in is Jerry Mud Martin. He makes the catch. The two-out walk doesn't hurt. We go to the bottom of the fifth. The Mets three. The Phillies nothing. Do up for the Phillies. In the fifth, it will be Sizemore than the top of the order, Boa and uh, McBride and Boa. So Swan has had some bad fielding, but good fielding, and he has struck out four. Three nothing Mets. Ted Sizemore, right hand batting second baseman from Alabama, steps to the plate. He's 0 for 1, was a strikeout victim. Swan to Sizemore, 46 to Sizemore. That's a 32, base is empty. I do believe that's an out. A 32, lace to right center. Bruce Beauclair does the Superman dive. Makes the catch. Beauclair once again flashes the leather. Sizemore kicks the infield dirt as he was rounding first. And heads back to the Phillies' dugout. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Three-nothing Mets. Michael Terranova has joined us. Check out that wonderful channel and subscribe. Top of the order, Shake Bake McBride. The pitch to McBride, he's 0 for 2. That is a 13 from Swan to McBride. A 13 is a walk. First time the speedy McBride reaches base. Phillies need to cash in on some of these Base runners at some point. One out, one on for Larry Boa. Switch hitter batting lefty. Boa's doubled and struck out. The pitch to Larry Boa. 21 from Swan. A 21's a 30. A 30. Sky to shallow left. Elliot Maddox coming in. He makes the catch. Two away, retreating back to first is Shake Bake McBride. So two outs. McBride will be off on contact. Michael Jack Schmidt will try to cut the Mets lead to one with a bippity boppity boom. The pitch to Schmidt from Craig Swan. Swan deals up Schmidt as 61. A 61's a 39. There goes the runner at first, Shake Bake McBride. Stearns with a quick release. The tag by Doug Flynn. He is out. The side is retired. So Shake Bake McBride trying to get something going. He is out stealing. Two to four. Schmidt left at the plate holding his bat in his hand. We go to the top of the six. Mets trying to take game one, best of five, in the Double Day Cup, National League East region. Due up for the Mets. Stearns, who just threw out McBride, Montanez, and Han Henderson. Mets look to add to their 3-0 lead. Lefty Steve Carlton back up on the bump. The Goat Whisperer, D. Scott Howard, has joined us. How you doing, D. Scott? Oh, Lenny Randall flew out to left. There we go. John Stearns 0 for 2. He's grounded out and banged into a double play. Here's the pitch from Carlton to the Mets right-handed batting catcher, John Stearns. It's a 52. How do you do? Base is empty. 52 is a 27. You really do start remembering the numbers. I do know that is an out. A hard hit ball to third. Is he next pitcher? No. So it's a diving stop by Schmidt. Schmidt pops up, throws to Bob Boone at first. Stearns is retired. Great play by Schmidt. The Mets catcher 0 for 3. Kenny Castro, how you doing? He says, let's go Phils. 
Phil's down 3 nothing. Kenny. Willie Montanez has singled in a run. Also flown to Maddox in center. He's one for two. The pitch to Montanez. It's doubles for Willie. That's a 44. A 44 is an eight. We know the B voodoo is going to take away that. Montanez is jammed, popped up, third base shot side. Schmidt will make the catch, two outs. Pop out five. I do like the way the APA pitching grades, I love it. I think that's what has really lured me to this game once I started playing. Finner 27, how you doing, my friend? Hope all is well, Finner 27. Two outs. Base is empty. Top of the six. Three nothing Mets. Game one of five. Double day cup. 1978 D double day cup. National League East region. The pitch to the man they call Stevie Wonder Henderson. It's a 23 to Henderson from Steve Carlton. So a 23. What will it be? We shall see. A 23 is a 30. That will end the inning. Fly ball to center. Maddox makes the grab. One, two, three, go the Mets. We go to the bottom of the six. Philly still trail by three. The New York Mets three. The Philadelphia Phillies nothing. Now he has pitched six scoreless innings, but an A grade pitcher cannot. Uh, I'm sorry. He has pitched five scoreless innings. An A grade pitcher cannot move up. If he was a B grade, he can move up to an A grade. Okay. Swan still with a three run lead as we go to the bottom of the six. He'll face Schmidt, Lezinski, and Maddox. That's Gary Maddox. Uh, Schmidt was at the plate. My faux pas should not have moved that. When Shake Bake McBride was thrown out at second by John Stearns, Doug Flynn applied the tag. Here's the pitch to Michael Jack Schmidt. Righty righty matchup. Schmidt with a 12. A 12 is a 25. Base is empty. Chopper to second. An next pitcher gets a strikeout. Swan is not an next pitcher. So Flynn tosses to Montanez. Schmidt is 0 for 3. Craig Swan has done a wonderful job keeping these Philly batters off balance, mixing up the pitches. One out for the Bull, Greg Lazinski. Lazinski is 0 for 2. He is robbed of a hit by Doug Flynn, just like Schmidt was in the first, on leaping catches by the second baseman for the Mets, and has also flown out to left and Elliott Maddox. The pitch to Lazinski, it's a 43 to the Bull. 43 is a 29. Lazinski. Chops it back to Swan. Again, he's not an ex-pitcher, so it's not a strikeout. Swan calmly has it. Tosses to Montanez at first two away. Scoring at home one to three. Two outs. Base is empty for Gary Lee Maddox. Swan rocks and deals to Maddox. It's a 35 to Gary Lee Maddox. A 35 is a nine. He's an A-grade pitcher. And as we know... The A grade, the voodoo takes away the 8 and 9, and that is a swing and a miss on a breaking pitch in the dirt. Stearns applies the tag to complete the strikeout. The side is retired. That is the 5th K for Swan, the first time he has gotten Gary Maddox. We go to the top of the 7th. The Mets 3, the Phillies nothing. For the Mets, it will be Elliot Maddox, Bruce Beauclair, and Tim Foley. Foley has been offered an awful in the field, and he's struck out uh, once and flown out. He's 0 for 2 at the plate. This would be a huge feather in the Mets' cap, not only to take game one, but to beat the Phillies' best pitcher, Steve Carlton. Carlton to Elliot Maddox. Maddox. Is one for two. He's doubled in a run. That is a 41 to Elliott Maddox. 41 to Elliott Maddox is a 24. Ground ball to short. 
Boa's up with it, throws to Boone. It's a B to B, out number one, six to three. So Maddox is now one for three with a double and a ribby. Bob B says, Al, Tim Foley has asked that I stop ba bad-mouthing him. Ironically, I like Tim Foley. When I play open world with Red Sox during this time period, I usually try to trade to get Tim Foley on my team, along with Al Oliver. <laughs> Bruce Beauclair has struck out twice. The pitch to Beauclair, it's a 41 to Bruce. A 41 is a 24. He'll make contact, but it's going to be out number two. Rinse and repeat. That is a ball hit to Larry Boa. He throws the first two away. Two ground balls to Boa, two outs. Here in the top of the seventh, three-nothing Mets. Game one of five, the Abner Doubleday Cup, 1978. Tim Foley, two errors in the field. Oh, for two at the plate. Carlton trying to get the Mets one, two, three. McCarver sets the target. The pitch to the right-hand batting shortstop of the Metropolitans. Timothy John Crazy Horse Foley. 21 to Tim Foley. A 21 is a 30. That will retire the side. As Foley hits it hard, he drives it to deep center, racing back, reaching up, making a wonderful, fine catch in center is Gary Maddox. Nothing going right for Tim Foley. The crazy horse has not found the crazy train. We go to the bottom of the seventh, three nothing Mets. Craig Swan will go out to take his warm-up tosses. Swan is going to pitch. He seems A-OK. -okay. You're not going to turn it over to the bullpen when Swan is throwing his shutout. Take me. I can't do Howard Cosell. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Down goes Frazier. Take me. I'm just going to sing it. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever go back for its root, root, root for your home team. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. Down goes Frazier. Yep, all 1978 teams. I've decided I got to play these teams, and this is the way I'm going to do it. We get enough play out of it. Best of fives. Not all the games will be on the channel, obviously, but this was a really fun matchup to me. I watched a lot of Mets from 77 to 86 and beyond, but because they were they were on um, game of the week on Saturdays quite a bit because you it was regional coverage. You either got the Red Sox, Yankees, or Mets on uh, the NBC game of the week. At least that's the way I remember it. All right. So we go to the bottom of the seventh. It is Martin, Boone, and McCarver. Phillies down three. The pitch to Mud Martin, who is 0 for 1. He's walked and grounded out. The Mud Man gets a 46 from Craig Swan. 46 is a strikeout. Catches him looking as he paints the inside corner. Swan has now struck out two, four, six. Craig Swan has struck out six. One out here in the bottom of the seventh. Brian Hoxie says, I come for the games, but I really come for the singing. I appreciate that, my friend. I appreciate that. Doug Hunt, so disappointing. I was expecting Cosell, but you did okay, Al. Thank you. One out for Bob Boone. He's 0 for 2. He has struck out and reached on the second error by Tim Foley. Swan to Boone, 22 to Bobby Boone. A 22 is a 7. I think that's a hit, and it is. A chopper past the dive of guess who? Tim Foley in the left. So Boone reaches base for a second time, this time via the hit. One out, one on. Stearns goes out to have a word with Craig Swan. Back behind the plate, Tim McCarver is 0 for 2. He was the first Phillies to reach base on a Foley error. Swan peaks to first. Boone, a slow runner, now looks in, has a sign. The pitch to Tim McCarver. 
It's a 35 to Tim McCarver, former St. Louis Cardinal catcher and Red Sox catcher, briefly. 35 to McCarver is a 14 runner at first. He is a Z pitcher. I think it'll be ball one. Let's see if I remember that correctly. Let's, I, did I remember that correctly? I did. So, you see the 14. Ball four, but he's a Z pitcher, so it's ball one. You can see he's a Z pitcher. So you really do start remembering the numbers. 1-0, the pitch to McCarver, that's a 31 to Timmy. One out, one on. 31 to McCarver is a 14. That's ball two. Wow, I've never had it go to ball two. We Because it's not a walk, it's a Z. So 2-0 count. Swan having trouble finding the plate. Stearns pounds a mitt, sets a target. McCarver gets a 33. McCarver with a 33. It's a zero. It's a re-roll on the D column. 44. It's a four. I think that's a triple. It is a triple to deep center. The Phillies are on the board. The fans come to their feet. As Tim McCarver, the personal caddy of Steve Carlton, has just tripled in the Phillies' first run. He stands at third with one out, and it's now 3-1. Mets, Boone races all the way around first. McCarver slides easily and safely into third, beating the relay throw by two steps. A clutch hit by Tim McCarver. He has a run batted in. Let's do batted in up here. That will bring up Ted Sizemore. He's 0 for 2. The Phillies might go to the bench here. We got the Gravedigger's son out of Boston, Massachusetts, Richie Hebner. Well, at least they list him out of Boston. I don't know if he was exactly from Boston. I know he's from Massachusetts. Richie Hebner, and he's got pop. And he can play second. Uh, it's going to bring him down three fielding points, though. They'll still be fielding column two, though, because they're a 39, and he is a five, and he's an eight, so that's minus three. There'll be a 36, so they'll still be fielding column two. They're going to Richie Hebner right now. They're going to Richie Hebner, and you're not going to walk the tying run. You're not putting the tying run on. So Richie Hebner will pinch hit for Sizemore. His day is done. Put Sizemore behind here. The Gravedigger's son, Richie Hebner. Okay. So he's going to stay in and play second. He is a five. Hebner, and he's a slow runner. So Sizemore is out. And we still have, actually, we, we still, it doesn't matter because it still stays in field and column two, but Bud Harrelson plays for the Phillies. He can play short and second, and he's an eight. But we're, Hebner is going to stay in the game. He's going to pinch it here. So Hebner comes in the seventh with one out. Oh, wow. Some bullpen action now for the Mets. Philly's looking to come back here. One out, runner at third. 3-1 Mets. Swan to the left-hand batting, Richie Hebner. Oh, you know what? Uh, he's still in A grade, so it doesn't matter. 21 to Hebner. 32, runner at third. They're playing normal. They'll give up the run for the out. So we have a runner at third. And that is a 21. And that's a 32. 
Oh, wow. Look at that. Because it's a fielding column too. Fly ball to right, not deep enough. Fast runner scores. Okay, fast runner scores. McCarver is a normal runner. He does not score. So Hebner flies out. Where did I say that to? 32 to right. Eau Claire coming in, makes the catch. Quick release, an accurate throw to the plate. Holds McCarver. There's now two away. And again, let's double check that. 21's a 32. They're fielding column two. Fly to right, runner holds. Had they been fielding column three, it would be a sack unless he was a slow runner, which he wasn't. So very cool. I love the way Appa does that. It, it works. I don't know how, but it just works. So two outs. Tying run comes to the plate and shake bake McBride. McCarver still stands 90 feet away for the Phillies' second run. 3-1 Mets. Doug Hunt. Hebner, a former Pirate. Yep. And then Bob B says also a former Met, Tiger, and Cub. He plays on my Massachusetts State team in action PC baseball. The pitch to Shake Bake McBride with two outs. He is 0 for 2 with a walk and was thrown out stealing. It's a 63 to Shake Bake McBride. Swan trying to get out of this jam. 63 is a 33. Oh, shoot. Wait a second. No, I did that right because it was a runner at third. I looked at the right chart. I looked at the right chart. So a 63. I doubted myself for a second, but then runner at third. I did look at the right chart. 63 is a 33. Wide pitcher gets a strikeout. It's a swing and a miss. So Swan battles back, strikes out McBride after he fouls one down the left field line. He was late on the fastball, and the second time, he didn't catch up to the high heat. The side is retired. The Phillies do get one. We go to the top of the eighth, 3-1 Metropolitans. Swan has now struck out, I believe, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven strikeouts for Swan. He is strong. He's going to stay in this game. They're going to ride Swan as long as they can. He's only given up one run. In the top of the eighth for the Mets, trying to get that run back and more, it will be Flynn in the top of the order, Mazzilli and Lenny Randall. So McCarver triples in the Phillies' first run with one out and Bobby Boone at first. We go to the top of the eighth. And I think, well, he's gotten Flynn twice. He's gotten Flynn twice. Christensen in game two, and then you're, you're they're in deep poop. You got a cot a D grade and Lonborg a D grade. They're the four starters. So I really want to save the bullpen because I think those are gonna be bullpen games. You got Reed's in A, Bruce Starr's in A, McGraw's a B. If anybody, if if there's any trouble, XZ is control pitcher with strikeout capabilities. If any trouble, we're going to bring Reed in. So we'll get Reed ready. All right, here we go. Carlton comes out for the top of the eighth. 3 1 Mets. The pitch to Doug Flynn, who's been outstanding in the field, but he's 0 for 2 at a plate at the plate, grounding out twice to Boa. Flynn with a 12. Base is empty chart. 12 for Flynn's a 25. That's going to be out number one. As X is he an X pitcher? No, so it's not a strikeout. It's going to be a ground out to Richie Hebner, who's quickly tested at second base. He flips to Boone. 
and Flynn is retired. This time he grounds out to the right side after grounding out twice to the left side. One out for the Mets in the top of the eighth. They still lead three to one. Top of the order, Lee Mazzilli has walked twice. Between those two walks, the meat between the bread, he's flown out deep to center. A fine running catch by Greg Maddox. He's scored in the first after walking to lead off the game on the Lenny Randall double. The pitch to the man they call Maz, Lee Mazzilli. Mazzilli, a 61 from Carlton. Mazzilli batting righty, switch hitter. So that's a 61, a 40, and a 40. Strike one, fouled out of play. So it's an 0-1 count. If he, if Carlton was wild, it would have been a walk. 0-1 to Mazzilli. Carlton rocks and deals again. It's a 52 to Lee Mazzilli. A 52 is a 27. Mazzilli puts the ball in play. Ripped down to third. Diving stop once again as Carlton is not an ex-pitcher. Schmidt makes it look easy. Pops up. Throws a laser to Bobby Boone. Two outs. Mazzilli has hit the ball hard twice. Nothing to show for it except outs. Two outs. Top of the eighth. Base is empty. 3-1 Mets. Lenny Randall is one for two. He's doubled in a run. Walked and flown to left. Trying to keep the inning alive for John Stearns. Montanez in the hole. Here's the pitch to Lenny Randall. Switch hitter batting righty. Randall gets doubles. It's a 44. A 44 is an eight. He's out. We already know that the B voodoo takes away the eight. As Lenny Randall hits a tracer to center, but there's that man chasing it down once again. Gary Maddox. The side is retired. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Mets lead by two. The New York Mets. Three, the Philadelphia Phillies, one. Due up for the Phillies, Boa, Schmidt, Lazinski. If anyone gets on, Gary Maddox, the center fielder. They're having a conversation with Carlton in the dugout. He seems okay. Will Carlton come out for the top of the ninth? Craig Swan. Wants to finish it. Larry Boa does a headstand at the plate. Now, that made everyone chuckle. Loosened up things for the Phillies. The pitch to Larry Boa from Craig Swan. Boa's doubled, struck out, and flown out. Boa with a 64. Base is empty. 64 is a 13. Swing and a miss. Second K of Boa. By Craig Swan. I do believe he now has eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight strikeouts for Craig Swan. Bob B says, rest in peace, Ken Holtzman, Whitey Herzog, and Carl Erskine. Young James, the Professor Kenny. Let's go, Mets. Swanee. Swanee's pitching a gem, young James. He struck out eight. The pitch to Michael Jack Schmidt. It's a 51. Schmidt has been a strikeout victim. He's 0 for 3. A 51 to Schmidt is a 51 is a nine. Swan is an A grade. Guess what that nine is? Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Swan has struck out nine. Can he strike out the side? He gets Greg Lazinski now. Yeah. Mark Ferguson's uh Lenny Randall's with Texas. He got in a fight with uh, the manager. What the hell was the manager's name? It was an Italian. Lu Lucchese. Was it Lucchese? The manager? Ah, started with an L. Beat him up pretty bad. Here's the pitch to the Bull. Swan looking to strike out the side. It's a 56 to Greg the Bull Lazinski. 56, 34. Popped up. A wide pitcher, though. Strike three. He strikes out the side. So it's a 34 on the B on the fielding two column. It's an out. It's a pop-up to short, but a wide pitcher gets a strikeout. 
Swanee is a wide pitcher. He strikes out the side, pumps his fist as he comes off the mound. We go to the top of the ninth, 3 1 Mets. Craig Swan out pitching the lefty Carlton, Steve Norman Carlton, to be exact. So I believe that's 11 Ks. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. No, it's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 Ks. 10 for Swanee. I'm just going to put that right here. 10 Ks for Swan. 3 1 Mets, top of the ninth. The Y does modify. So Carlton is going to come out in the top of the ninth. He's not pitched bad. He's only given up three runs. They're down two. Ronald Lee Slink Reed, Ron Reed, is ready in the pen. If Carlton gets an any type of trouble. John Stearns, the Mets catcher, 0 for 3. One of those at-bats, a 5-4-3 double play. Stearns awaits the Carlton offering. The pitch homeward bound. Base is empty. 61 to John Stearns. 61 is a 22. A 22. Fielding column 2. Ground ball to first. Boone has it. Flips to Carlton, who hustles over and covers the bag. One out. So that's three to one. And that fielding column two is so important there on the 22. If they were fielding column one, uh, three, it would have been an error on the pitcher. But they're fielding column two. So Stearns is retired, one out. Montanez steps to the plate. He's one for three. He's single in a run back in the first. That was the Mets' second run. They would get a third in the fourth inning on the double by Elliott Maddox. 3-1 Mets. The pitch to Montanez from the lefty Steve Carlton. It's a 26 to Willie. A 26 is a strikeout. Swing and a miss. Carlton is struck out. One, two, three, four. He's only struck out four, but there are two down now. That will bring up Steve Henderson. 300 hitter for the Mets a lot of times or close to it. Anytime I play the Mets with Steve Henderson on the team, he does nothing in the clutch. My joke is the worst 300 hitter I have ever managed in any sports sim game. Here's a pitch to Steve Henderson. It's a 32 to Henderson. A 32 is a 26. That's going to retire the top of the ninth. So a 32, what did I say that was? Is a 26. Ground out to second. Hebner to Boone. A two-run lead for the Mets. And Craig Swan, as we go to the bottom of the ninth, can Swanee close it out? So there are 39. I don't think there we can get them to a 41. We need two more points. Philly's actually a 36 now. They're still in fielding column two. I forgot to change that because Hebner is a five. That's three less than Sizemore. I don't think there's anyone who made the last out. Henderson made the last out, right? I'm just going to take a quick look. I don't think there's anyone. When I was putting the teams together, I couldn't get to 41. I mean, Swanee's a two. Second base, 
No, he's an eight. Foley's an eight, though he's not playing like an eight. Nope. They cannot get two more points. They'll stay in fielding column two. Young James, the Professor Kenny. Not that the Mets team column two is the best you can do. Maddox in for Hendu only adds one. Yeah, you're right. But that's why I did it. You are correct, my friend. All right, so Swan trying to go the distance. Again, he did pitch five scoreless innings, but he's already an A grade, and you can't bump him up from that. A B, a D, C, or B can get bumped up after five shutout innings. And you can get bumped down if you give up five runs. All right, so Swan's going to try to close the show here. The Mets will have some bullpen action. And it's going to be Skip Lockwood. He's an XZ. He played briefly for the Red Sox uh, after his Mets. What was that early 80s? All right, here we go. Swan to Maddox. Swan and the Mets hoping for a 1 2 3 inning. That is a fifteen. That's an eleven. Ooh, an eleven. And that's gonna be a hit single. And then Maddox is gonna steal second. So what a start for the Phillies. Holy cow, a single and a stolen base. A stolen base for Elliot Maddox after the single. Did I do my math wrong? We are 38. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter, but I want to count real quick. Uh, 6, 13, 17, 19, 21, 30, 38. And Swanee's a two. They should be a 40, actually. Oh, War 38. Lock Lockwood War 38. I think I messed them up. It doesn't matter. 40 still, not enough. Let me do that again. 6, 13, 17, 19, 21, 29. No, I did it right. Uh, 37, no, 39. I did it right. Okay. Yep. So Lockwood had 38 as a number. Runner at second, no outs, tying run comes to the plate and Jerry Mud Martin. Martin's got, if he rolls a 66, we're tied. I don't think we're going to Lockwood. He's still in a grade. The pitch to Mud Martin, runner at second, the Speedy Maddox. It's a 42. How do you do a 42? Swing and a miss. Let's double check that, though. 13. Called strike three. He went too far. 11 Ks for Swan. One out, runner at second. Oof. Tense moments here at the vet. That brings up Bob Boone. Swan to Boone, 44. It's a seven. Oh, no. A seven. Base hit to left. It's a three to two ball game. Scoring is the speedy Greg Maddox. Boone knocks in his second run. Oh, no, he's his first run. He scored the first run. Now he's knocked in a run. It's now three to two. Runner at second, seven, because that's a 44. Seven, yep. Ground ball, base hit in the left. Batter holds at first. Run, it's an RBI, so the runner scores from second. It's three to two. 
Mets fans getting a sinking feeling. Boone is a slow runner. Excellent double play candidate. And here comes Tim McCarver. McCarver tripled in the first run with one out. In the bottom of the seventh, Stearns goes out to have a word with Swan. They're going to stick with Swan. Runner at first, the pitch to Tim McCarver. That's a 65 to Tim. It's a 35. Uh, this might be a double play, folks. Runner at first. 35. It's going to be a pop out to Stearns as Swan is not wild, so it's not a base on balls. Swanee came in high and tight. McCarver slams the bat as he hustles down to first, but to no avail. Stearns tosses the mask to his left, waits for it to come down, makes the catch two away. Again, that was a 65, and that is a 35. Fielding column two, pop out to catcher. If he was a W pitcher, it would have been a base on ball, so... He went high and tight, and McCarver bit on it. McCarver trying to yank it out of the vet. There are two down now. Hmm. Two down. Richie Hebner steps to the plate. I think we got a pinch run. I should have done it before, but I think he got a pinch run. for Boone, who's slow at first. I'd like to see if we had a fast pitcher. We don't. Cardinal's normal. Foot is slow. Jim Morrison is fast. Pete Macklin is fast. Bud Harrelson is fast. Probably not going to... I'd like to save Bud just in case. But again, we can't get past fielding column two, even with Bud Harrelson. Um, I think Morrison has more pop than Mac, um, Maca Nin. So Pete Jr. So Pete Mackinin Jr. is going to pinch run for Bob Boone at first. He's a fast runner, and that could come into play. So Bob Boone is out. And we're just going to do it over here. Can he play second? Oh, can he play first? I mean, he can play first, but he's a two. Um, and that would bring them under. That would bring them under to fielding column. Three. Well, I think we have someone else who can play first anyway, who's a three, hopefully. But they got to try to tie the game. They're not worried about that. So pinch, runner, Mackinan, ninth. For Boone, and he is a fast runner. All right, here we go. Cheese Warriors joined us. The great seasons of Jim Rice and Ron Guidry. Absolutely. Hope all is well, Cheese Warrior. All right, so Richie Hebner, the gravedigger's son out of Massachusetts. Hebner is the winning run at the plate. Tying run is now the speedy pinch runner. Mackinnon, Pete Mackinnon Jr., Swan, Takes a deep breath after having a word with Stern. Stern's back behind the plate. 
The pitch to Richie Hebner. That's a 41 to Richie Hebner. That's a 24. That's going to end the ball game. 24. Ground ball to short. It would have been a double play ball, but we're just, he's throwing the first. Actually, he's going to flip to second for the force out. Ball game over. So Foley makes a nice stab at it. Flips to Doug Flynn, who steps on the bag. The Mets upset the Phillies in game one of five in the double day. Cup 1978 National League East Region three to one three to two excuse me. So Hebner six to four and what a ball game! What a ball game! Your winning pitcher is Craig Swan. Your losing pitcher, both pitchers go the distance is Steve Carlton. Swan gives up two strikes out 11. We're going to count that up because I like the strikeouts. It's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So Swanee struck out 11, gave up two runs. They're both earned. Uh, he went nine innings. Oh, shoot, wrong place. Struck out 11, two runs, nine innings, winning pitcher, and MVP of game one. Carlton had a good quality start. He goes nine. He gives up three runs. Actually... Uh... Error, error. Yeah, they didn't score on the two errors by Foley. Again, I don't really care about if it's earned or not, but so it gives up two runs. Carlton struck out. He only struck out four. So the Mets take a 1-0 lead. Game two, I think we'll put it on the channel. Uh, game two, starters, and then I won't keep you any longer. Kuzman. For the Mets. And Christensen. For the Phillies. B grade YZ. Kuzman's a C YZ. So that is that. Mets trying. They get the split. You know, but they've got the... Um, the better pitching in a weird way. I know that sounds silly, but they do. And we just witnessed it. It's not much better. The Phillies will be much quicker to go to the bullpen in game. I mean, Carlton didn't pitch bad at all. So your MVP, Swan, nine innings, two runs, 11 strikeouts. He's, the Mets win three to two. He's the MVP. Carlton, the tough luck loser. They got two in the first, clutch hit by Randall and Montanez. Then they get the third run, which is the winning run, the RBI double in the fourth by Elliott Maddox. Phillies get one in the seventh, a one-out triple by McCarver, and then Bob Boone knocks in a run in the bottom of the ninth. But Swanee settles down. Maddox singled, stole the base. I forgot to give Boone the ribby there. And after that, he gets McCarver to pop out and Sizemore. The ground is short. Foley flips to, to Flynn. Ball game over. So game one goes to the Mets. That was a fun game. Um, I might keep some stats here, so I don't want to write over there, I guess. And thank you, FOC. So with that, I'd like to say thank you to Mike Terranova. Please check out and subscribe to his channel. Young James, the Professor Kenny. Doug Hunt. As Mike Terranova says, as the late Bob Murphy would say, 
put in the books. Let's go to a happy recap. Yes, he would. Uh, Cheese Warrior, Mark Jones, Mark Ferguson, Bob B, Ken Castro, Brian Hoxie, Finner27. Oh, Finner27 says, Al, I played Appa Baseball as soon as I got it. On my next paycheck, I'll be getting the great teams of the past volume one so I can have a nice tournament. The game is great. The flow is awesome. Yes, it is. And I hope you enjoy it. And I, I'm glad you are enjoying it. D. Scott Howard, the Goat Whisperer. Oh, Robert Bryant was here. How you doing, Robert? Sorry I missed you earlier. Hope you're still here. God bless you and continue the good fight. You're getting better each and every day. Please let's send all of our prayers, good thoughts, and vibes to Robert Bryant, who is uh, battling an ailment, going through treatments, but he's winning, and that's important. Frank Wayne Scott, good luck to your son, who's uh, at Penn State wrestling to qualify for the U.S. Olympic team. Cutter Historical, please check out that channel and subscribe. Dave Gardner, you know him. You should subscribe and check out Digital, Digital Dice with Ron Juckett and Dave Gardner. And if you're on Twitch, check out Ron on Twitch. Pops Review, thank you. Check out that wonderful channel and subscribe. Sports Flicks, a.k.a. Mr. Wrestling 2, thank you very much. Check out his channel and subscribe. He always does cool stuff. Greg Bourne or ba Greg Baum. Bomb is that B O M? Yes, it is. I don't know. Bomb, boom, Greg Bohm, I guess. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. All right. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you enjoyed the stream, smack the like button. If you if you have not subscribed and you wish to do so, hit the bell for notification. If you do subscribe, come back. Have fun. Check out the other wonderful content creators in our community. Stay safe. Be smart. Become a member of the FOC. You just subscribe to my channel, their channels. Come back where everybody knows your name. God bless. Greatly appreciate everyone's time. We will see you very soon. The Mets upset the Phillies behind Craig Swan's wonderful nine-inning effort. Two runs, striking out 11. The Mets and Swan defeat the Phillies and Carlton 3-2. to two. Game one, best of five in the Double Day 1978 Cup. National League East region. Peace.